He's not in the sky with the birds and the planes, but he is on the air, riding the radio waves. And true to his name, he wears a cape and is decked head to toe in red and blue. This is like an everyday attire for me. Like, there's not a day I do not wear Superman. This is Superman Viscaino, a man whose love for the Man of Steel dates back to his childhood. As far as I can remember, you know, just that towel around the neck, you know, you fly around the bed. I think almost every kid did that. After he grew out of the playing Superman face, he began to dress like the Kryptonian, which has gained him his nickname. The name stuck, you know, everybody called me Superman, Superman, and that's where it came from, the nickname. But a nickname is not where this story ends. In 2015, Viscaino had his middle name legally changed to Superman. I thought it was great. I mean, everybody knows him by Superman, so I thought, why not? And this year, he's working to have his current first name, Jaime, removed entirely. I, I say he's obsessed. He says he's passionate. It's an argument we have all the time. Superman loves his namesake not for his physical strength, but for his strength of character. He's a caring person. He's kind. He's humble. He's selfless. That's why I like Superman. And his friends and co-workers think the two are quite a bit alike. I totally think he fits the character, for sure. Superman has a significant other named Melissa, but every Everyone knows her as Lois Lane, yep. She's everything to me. And not only do people call her Lois Lane, but she is considering changing her name as well. Yeah, I'm like 80% there. And while she freely admits hers might not be the most normal of relationships. I love it. I wouldn't change a thing. Going forward, Superman has created a will. He plans to have a Superman tombstone and casket for when he dies and a cane of kryptonite for when he's older. Oh, yeah, no, this ain't just a temporary. It's going to be until I, I'm dead. Reporting in a Super Abilene, I'm John McMichael, KRBC News.